You've got the passion, the snowmobile, and the gear. So now you just need a place to ride. Your snowmobiling friends can give you tips or take you to nearby trailheads and trail systems. You can also consult the staff at your snowmobile dealership or find riding opportunities through research online. For online research, start with the National Snowmobile Association websites. They are the American Council of Snowmobile Associations, or ACSA for short, at www.snowmobilers.org, and the Canadian Council of Snowmobile Organizations, or CCSO for short, at www.ccso-ccom.ca. You'll find a directory of state associations and provincial, as well as territorial organized snowmobile associations that will help you find great riding opportunities. Research a state or provincial association website to help you locate trails, maps, and other valuable resources. Once you choose an area where you want to ride, you'll find trail maps at snowmobile dealerships or other local businesses that support area snowmobile clubs. The maps will include trail system rules, local businesses such as fuel and food stops, lodging, and tips on great riding destinations. Another popular way to view maps is downloading an app to your smartphone that will also help track where you and other people in your group are on the trail system for the riding area you are using. Some snowmobiles have these riding apps on their gauges as standard equipment. Determine whether you'll need state or local trail passes. If you do, snowmobile dealerships can either provide these passes or direct you to where to find them. The maps will show public trailheads where you can park to unload your sleds and start riding. And many times you can ride right from the hotel or motel where you're staying. If you're riding on trail systems, make sure you're familiar with how to handle designated road crossings and learn basic hand signals riders use to communicate on the move. Trail riders should monitor their fuel and make sure they're aware of when stores or stations are close so they have enough fuel to get home. On your first day's ride, keep track of how many miles you cover before your lunch stop. This will help you plan when it's time to head back to your starting point. And once you know how many miles you typically ride in, say, a morning, you can map out scenic loop rides and great day trips. If you're riding in the mountains, do your own research and check with knowledgeable local riders for tips on where it's acceptable and legal to free ride off trail and where to be aware of avalanche risks. Every mountain rider, whether new or experienced, should carry working avalanche safety gear and seek local information about snow conditions. The American Avalanche Association at www.americanavalancheassociation.org in the United States or Avalanche Canada at www.avalanche.ca have great resources for riding in mountainous regions. Another good resource is Backcountry Ascender at www.backcountryascender.com. If you're still getting familiar with your snowmobile and with mountain riding, don't stray too far off trail and don't try to climb as high as possible. Gain some skills and confidence and take direction from experienced local riders whenever possible. There are many amazing riding areas to be experienced out there and with a little research, you can plan a snowmobile destination that is safe and will bring you lifelong memories.